Hi, go on down and welcome to Free Kirkian in Reykjavik, which is an old church, it's about 100 years old, in the centre of the city. Um, and tonight, one of the gigs at the uh, Reykjavik, uh, Life from Reykjavik Festival is going to take place here, uh, with four artists, including Arni Margrit, who I think, I've, I'm getting a nod, yeah. I, I said the name correctly. It's getting better. Um, <laughs> thank you. He's uh, a young singer-songwriter from uh, Isafjordr. Yeah. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yes. Oh, wow. Good. I'm on a roll. Uh, in the Westfields. And uh, she's going to be opening the show tonight. Mm -hmm. And um, she's one of the uh, four artists that we're featuring, uh, Life from Reykjavik, um, in our uh, Grapevine uh, picks. And uh, so we're going to have a little chat with her now, just kind of uh, find out what she's all about. So, Arnie, how long have you been playing guitar and singing? Mm, I started when I was 14, mm -hmm. maybe, I think. So, yeah. six years. All right. Five okay. years. Six years. Six. <laughs> Doing the math, because you're 20 now, I'm right? I'm 20, yeah. <laughs> Six years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fantastic. And what, what kicked it off? What, what caused you to mm. pick up a guitar and sing in the first place? I got a guitar when I was 14, mm. so that was my first guitar. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I learned it. I was like a little class in my school. We could learn like easy chords, and then I just learned by myself. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And who was influencing you to, to play guitar at that point? What sort of mm. artists were you listening to? I listened a lot to like Bon Iver. In those days, it was like a lot of guitar music. So I really liked that kind of music, right. folk music, mm -hmm. indie, all kinds. Of yeah. Guitar, yeah. Yeah. mostly. Right. But yeah. then you went into a kind of uh, a sort of classical music education, is that right? Yeah, I did that when I was like from six or seven years old. Right piano for like mm. eight or seven, eight years. Right. But I uh, didn't really like it in the end, so I switched <laughs> to guitar. So you could have been a classical pianist now. I could. A horrible idea. <laughs> but it wasn't for me <laughs> it's not for you. at that time, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fantastic. And then you went to, a bit later on, you went to uh, Denmark to study, didn't you? Yeah, right. I was, last fall I went, and I was supposed to go this spring, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. But I managed to go this fall right. for a bit, three mm. months. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah, and you described that as folk high school, which yeah. sounds interesting. So what it's, were you doing at folk high school? It's really common in Denmark. They have okay. a lot of those. It's uh, just friends and people your age and creative and whatever you like to do is really nice. So yeah. I did a lot of music, got a lot of good friends right. in there. A lot of opportunities to collaborate with other musicians. Really yeah. nice. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So that must have stood you in good stead for now when you're recording the album because you're working with uh, other musicians now, aren't you, recording the album? Yeah, it yeah. was. It was weird because I hadn't really played with anyone until I got there. Mm. So, yeah, it was a step, I guess. <laughs> so how's the album going? You're still in the middle of recording that now? Mm, yes, I think we got, we got a, enough songs. We don't really need more, but I make more and yeah. we record more, so we got... A bunch. They just keep flowing out. Yeah, catch we have them, a lot. Let them flow out, catch yes. them, and use them later, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. So we have enough, but we'll yeah. have to choose. So you've been busy recently? Yeah. yeah. So who's been working with you on the album, can you say? Uh, or is that going to be a surprise? It's Kitty. <laughs> yeah. He's the producer. Mm -hmm. He records everything. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yeah. And he's brought some friends in as well to, to kind yeah. of broaden out the sound a bit. Ausgeht and... Nice. Siki Hjalmur. Right, okay. Yeah, Sigurd Grimmansson. That's really nice. Fantastic. Good musicians. Some great names there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, really good. Okay. And you've been gigging recently, haven't you? I think you yeah. told me you did five gigs. In, well, this will be your fifth gig in four mm -hmm. days. <laughs> it's weird. You sick of it yet? <laughs> uh, it's a lot for because I haven't done it in a while. Yeah. But it's okay. Yeah. For now. Right. This one is pretty big, so it's... This is the biggest. Stressful, but it's okay. Right, it'll be fine. <laughs> this is the biggest gig you've done, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful old church. Mm -hmm. I don't know that can. I was probably showing us a bit uh, in uh, some of the other footage, but yeah, it's a beautiful place to do a nice, gentle acoustic. Nice. Um, I like it. Never performance been here. In. Yeah. Well, the sound check sounded wonderful, mm -hmm. so we're looking forward to some uh, fantastic chilled tunes tonight. Looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, here we go with one of our Aaron's tunes. Uh. 
Sitting on the counter, spending every day. 